السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر جسٹ ریکارڈنگ لیکچر نمبر سکس فار دا کورس آف الیکٹریکل انجینئرنگ ایم ای ڈپارٹمنٹ سو ان دس کورس وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ وولٹیج ڈیوائڈر رول اینڈ دا کرنٹ ڈیوائڈر رول دیز آر دا موسٹ بیسک رولس فار سیکنڈ اینالیسز and uh, these uh, should be understood uh, very clearly and you should, should practice the uh, practice uh, problems in the examples you go through the examples you should go through the example problems yourself and then i will be, i will be just guiding you through the practice problems and uh, the way that you should attempt this uh, uh, course or the these pr- these practice problems is that you first try to uh, do it yourself and then you just see the video so uh, Uh, when I just discuss uh, start discussing the practice problem you should must uh, uh, pause the video and then try to just look at the practice problem directly from the PDF file you should open the PDF file in a different uh, screen uh, other than the video uh, so that you can have a look on your own and you can scroll down and up uh, to see the contents so this is the how the class our normal normal conventional class goes I just show you the practice problem on the screen and then i just ask you to solve it yourself and then if you if any one of you uh, is uh, having any problem i just attend them uh, individually that's what i my style of teaching is and that's exactly what i just to follow here that uh, you should practice yourself okay a word of uh, uh, just advice uh, adawa or iman ka tazkara ke allah taala ne jo hame jo iman diya hai کلمہ سات آسمان اور سات زمین سے قیمتی کلمہ آیا ہے یہ اللہ تعالیٰ کا مکالمہ ہوا حضرت مصعلیہ السلام کے ساتھ اور اس بات کو اللہ کے نبی نے ہمیں پہنچایا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے اپنی حدیث کی صورت میں تو سات آسمان سات زمین سے زیادہ قیمتی ہمارا یہ کلمہ ہے اس کلمے کا یقین اپنی زندگی میں لانا ہے اور اس کو بنانا ہے تو کلمے کے کچھ فرائض ہیں ایک تو کلمے کو صحیح طریقے سے ادا کرنا دوسرا اس کے معنی کو سمجھنا اس کے مقصد کو سمجھنا اس کے مطابق زندگی گزارنا اور اس کلمے کو ساری دنیا کے اندر پہنچانا سو اللہ تعالیٰ ہمیں کہنے سننے کے ساتھ عمل کو توفیق کے ساتھ فرمائے سو ناؤ آئی جسٹ اسٹارٹ مائی لیکچر سیریز رجسٹر اینڈ وولٹیج ڈویژن دیٹ از وی آلریڈی ہیو ڈن سیریز رجسٹر کمبینیشن وین ایور دے آر ٹو رجسٹنس کنیکٹیڈ ان سیریز آئی اگین ریپیٹ واٹ از سیریز if there are just two connections in here and th- no tap out coming out for the third branch third electrical element then this two resistors are in series otherwise it's it's not in series when are there are three connections that is not in series that's it this is very clear so uh, the equivalent resistance is given by this this r1 plus r2 so now what is the the topic right now at hand this voltage v is connected with r1 and r2 co- series combination so how this uh, is going to be uh, or oh, let's uh, i just get uh, this doubt uh, am i recording or not oh yes i am recording so v1 plus uh, v2 this is distributed between r1 and r2 according to their values the higher the value the higher the voltage it will share v2 will be higher if r1 is higher then v2 will be higher on v1 will be higher so this is going to be v1 is equal to ir1 and v2 is equal to ir2 and we know what is i i is the voltage divided by the total resistance the equivalent resistance that is r1 plus r2 here this is r1 equivalent resistance r1 plus r2 v divided by this equivalent resistance this gives the, the just gives you oh, the i that is ohm's law so if we replace this value here i in place of i it will become v i v that which one which v this the supply voltage multiply by r1 divide by the equivalent resistance r1 plus r2 the same way v2 is given by i where where is i this is i i just replace this v here this i sorry this i here so it will become v r2 upon r1 plus r1 plus r2 equivalent resistance so this is just given in in the form of this formula 2.331 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 and v2 is equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 that is whatever voltage we just want to find out v1 so we will be multiplying the corresponding resistance r1 if we want to find out v2 then the corresponding corresponding resistance uh, at r2 will be multiplied 
the other things remain same we divide by equivalent resistance r1 plus r2 All right so this is a voltage divider rule and now we will be doing uh, current division current division All right so if a current this current if this is replaced by a uh, current source then this current will be equal to the current source but if this current is being divided between r1 and r2 so what we will how we will just do it so the formula for it is uh, uh, given by will be given by mm, where is it yes yes yes, yes this is it i1 is going to be equal to r2 multiplied by i r1 plus r2 so if we want to we want to find out i1 we will be putting using r2 here and if we want to use uh, i2 then we will be using uh, multiplying r1 so this is the other way around with the voltage divider this is called cdr and there are a few simple steps that you can follow uh, to reach this these uh, these formulas these formulas right so uh this is the current dividing rule cdr oh so what i was saying is uh, v is equal to i here i multiply by the combination of this resistors we uh, ohm simple ohms law so i multiplied by r is v so this r equivalent is equal to this r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this is the short form of uh, uh, combined two resistance that we have discussed last uh, last time so you will be understanding it only if you practice start practicing the numericals so this is the r equivalent circuit you have to multiply this i with r1 and r2 so this is v this equal to v but if we just go to back to equation 2.33 that is that i1 is given by v divided by r1 so we have just uh, mentioned this uh, v, what is the value of v the value of v is v uh, i multiplied by the r equivalent resistance so that is r1 multiplied by r2 this 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 thing you can just inverse it r1 multiplied by r2 divided by r1 plus r2 you just inverse it this thing you just inverse it and put it here and divide by r1 so what will happen this r1 and this r1 because it has already gone in equivalent resistance in numerator if you just reverse it r equivalent here so r1 will be up so if you divide with r1 so what you will be left with you will be only left with this r2 so that's how in the same way this thing if you divide by r2 the you will be only left with this r1 so that's that's the formulas here these two current divider formulas now we just start practicing this same thing so this is something uh, uh, 2.9 which already we have covered in the last lecture and this is again an equivalent resistance problem so we already have done it 2.11 is uh, involving the the conductances i already have guided you through this uh, conductances conductance is 1 upon r and it is measured in siemens or uh, mohs for a conductance conductance uh, um the formulas are reversed uh, the form of the formula is reversed for finding a in equivalent uh, conductance for a series combination in terms of conductance uh, the same formula applies which is for the parallel in terms of resistance i hope that you understand what i said okay so example 2.2 12 you go through it yourself and uh, uh, get the practice and uh, must understand this problem yourself all the steps if you are uh, comfortable enough with the example problems there is no point that you cannot attempt these practice problems but uh, even then i will just be guiding you through guiding you through this but first i will just suggest that you pick up a pencil and paper open this uh, book in your uh, pdf uh, pdf file uh, and uh, your textbook and then try to attempt it and then spend 15 minutes just looking at the problem and then uh, finding the solution if you are not uh, having any idea or you are stuck somewhere then you can watch the video but for you to 15 minutes of gap for the video now just pause it and just pick up a pencil and paper okay i will be just showing you 2.12 again uh, here 
2.12 this is 2.12 here so I will just zoom it for you this is the original circuit what we have to find oh again I show you what we have to find we have to find V1 and V2 and we also have to find out P1 and P2 power dissipated on these two resistances V1 and V2 and the power corresponding and the current through these two resistances I1 and I2 so here I, I have solved all these things here so this is the original problem of circuit diagram V1 and V2 so it's very obvious that these two things are these two resistances are in parallel right so you solve it 10 in parallel with 40 using the same formula this simple formula uh, 10 multiplied by 40 divided by 10 plus 40 so it becomes 8 ohms and you have this 12 ohms and 6 ohm resistance parallel that's why you write this uh, the parallel symbol and 12 multiplied by 6 divided by 12 plus 6 is equal to 4 the circuit reduces to 2 resistances 4 resistance and 8 ohm resistance uh, in parallel voltage remains same in series current remains same now we can find out v1 because the voltage v1 has to be found but the voltage on v1 and the, uh, this uh, 2 ohm resistance and 6 ohm resistance is going to be equal because the voltage remains same in parallel so v1 is uh, simply a voltage divider two two resistance res series resistances v1 and v2 so what we do is we multiply this uh, supply voltages vs multiplied by r1 divided by equivalent resistance r1 plus r2 so supply voltage is 30 multiplied by 4 this 4 this resistance divided by 4 plus 8 this and this plus so in this way this get you get 10 volt for v1 and 20 volt for v2 and then you can just find out the the currents by just using the ohms law if uh, v1 is already known so you can divide it the corresponding resistance you can find out the current and the same way you can find out the i2 how do you find power power is v1 multiplied by r1 this is v1 and v2 multiplied by i2 is v2 right so these are the answers and these uh, answers are matching with the uh, answers available in the book now we go for uh, problem number 2.13 and here they want us to find v1 and v2 the power dissipated and the power supplied by the current source what current what the power will be provided with the, the complete circuit from this current source this is the only power source here that single power source so i will just show you that 2.13 2.13 this is 2.13 i have solved it for you i hope and i pray that you will bear my my handwriting if something is not understandable you will bear with me okay so this is the original circuit they want us to find uh, want us to find v1 and v2 what we have done here is uh, this resistance and this resistance is in series so i have just combined them as a 4k this was 3k and this is 1k series combination directly added 4k a word of advice again please pause the video and don't go ahead with this video try to solve it yourself have a look at on the, the book from the PDF file for 15 minutes and then try to find the solutions and that is the only way that you can get practice right this is 4k and this are uh, these two are in parallel so 5k in parallel with 20k is equal to 4k now we can find out uh, i1 that is going in this direction and in direction i2 with the CDR formula the CDR formula is already available here so for find, finding out i1 i will be using r2 so for finding i2 i will be using r1 putting the values uh, what is the amount of current the amount of current is 30 milliampere that means it is 0 0.3 0 0.3 right so you go through the steps and you find out that these are the currents because the distances are both equal on the both side 4k and 4k that's why the current comes out to be same and then you can find out by just multiplying with the uh, the resistance value so v1 and v2 and i20 and these are the simple steps you go through it and i hope that uh, this is quite understandable i'm running out of time and uh, so i have to just rush and then i just show you one more problem that is uh problem the end of from the end of the chapter uh this is a very very pro good problem and i like it very much 2.31 this is a current dividing rule and i just show you on this screen so you go through the steps yourself and try to just read the the answers 
so I have shown you this in the form of just scrolling again okay I'll just unzoom it zoom out so you can have it on your screen in one one screen right this is the end of the chapter so hope this was uh, helpful for you